Proyecto Seas was started in 1994, about 23 years ago, almost 24. Amigos, this is a wild animal rescue center. Here we rescue animals, that's the way that we get them, and we work hard to put animals back in the wild. That, that's our principal idea. When I go in the zoos in Costa Rica, I see lions and tigers. I don't know if you know that, but they are not from Costa Rica. <laughs> How they get them? I would like to know that too, guys. <laughs> Here we rescue, we work hard to put it back. Sometimes it's possible to release many animals back in the nature, see? But sometimes too, we receive some animals that is a little difficult or impossible to release them. Why? Because in the wild, they live in big families, big packs. Here we have just one. Or the big problem that we have is 80% of the animals that you're gonna know today they are here because they were living with people. A lot of people in Costa Rica like to have wild animals as pets. That is illegal, that is prohibited and people do. When the police know that you have a jaguar in your house, police go in your house, they confiscate the animals and they bring to us. When the police know that you have a parakeet in your house, police go in your house, confiscate the birds and they bring to us. The problem is police don't have the chance to go to get any house to check what animals they have or not. How that work? If you have a monkey, your neighbors know that. One day, one of your neighbors gonna report that to the police. The problem is sometimes it's too late. I'm gonna show you monkeys that they were living with people for more than 17 years. The only one thing that they know now is people. And do you see that they don't make eye contact? If you make eye contact... <laughs> they look away. It's because they are friendly. It's because they are nice and they make solutions, guys. They are really nice. 